coming up. Yeah, and we're finding out how you can create some new things, functional things for your home with used materials. Angela Kelly joins us live from Appleton with more. Hi, Angela. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. Well, earlier we showed you how to make things like um, a coat or a purse rack. Um, we spray painted some light fixtures. And now we are going to show you how you can make your own chalkboard paint, right, Benny? That's right. Okay. It's really easy. Um, it's a great project to do with your kids, too. All you have to do is find some latex paint, and I'm choosing green in honor of Earth Day and Earth Week. And you guys ha actually have a lot of paint here that you sell at the Restore. We do. We've got a lot and a lot of different colors that should all work fine for chalkboard paint. Um, the cool thing is to know that chalkboard paint doesn't have to be black. It can be any color. So you start with your latex paint, and you're going to take um, two tablespoons to every cup of paint, and you're going to use unsanded grout. That's the most important um, detail is that the grout be unsanded. Can you buy the grout here? You can. You can get grout here. You can get paint here. Okay. I'm estimating. So then you're going to start <clears throat> and stir it up really, um, really well. You want it to be about the consistency of like a cake batter. And that's what we have right here, That's right? what you've got right there. We've already got some pre-mixed. Okay. Um, and so she's taken here, she found this in the store. This would be like, this could be the inside of your kitchen cabinet maybe. So mm -hmm. that's what I would use it for, make yeah, grocery lists definitely, or something. Definitely, definitely. Okay. And then all you're going to do is start painting like you would regularly. So I can just go ahead and put that paint on. I don't have to put any other... You don't have to prime it. Um, it's going to be a little bit rough, which is normal because you have grout in your paint. And you'll probably want to do a coat, let it dry, and then do another coat also. Mm -hmm. And then you will get to the end result. Um, and you'll be able to write on it like yeah. you got over there. Ex exactly. So right over here, this actually was hanging mm. up before we even proposed this idea. They have these laying or hanging up all over. They show you how to do these repurposing projects. So right here, this was painted using that homemade chalkboard paint. So I could write, good day, Wisconsin. Think of how many uses you could use for this. So lots of fun stuff. I'm going to go home and do that right now, actually. And uh, before we go, why don't you um, tell people again about the Earth Day celebration and about the electronics recycling drive this weekend. For sure. This weekend, Saturday, is our electronics drive. We're having it at the Timber Rattler Stadium from 10 until 3. So bring your TVs, um, bring your DVD players, your VCRs, any electronic. It is free of charge. And then next Saturday is when we're having our 8th um, annual Earth Day event presented by Golden Iron and Metal of Kakana. Uh, we'll have great vendors and exhibitors, children's activities, um, there'll be local food vendors. It's a great, great time, and that's from 9 to 3, rain or shine. Yeah, great stuff, and you could learn a bunch of great repurposing projects like Benny showed us this morning. Great ideas. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Great All time. Right. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Ange. Ange.